Could we just get an update of all of the fitness and injury problems you or, or concerns that you have going into this week and around your squad? We have to. We have a couple of players to have to assess. Um, still, still assessing this afternoon and see if uh, they are available for tomorrow. Um, how is Adama? Adama Traore. I know that we he have to assess. We have to assess. It, is his injury quite serious that he had before? No, he had before, before the in the last game uh, during the the break. We have to assess him. And and what about Ryan Bennett as well? I know he was a crucial factor in terms of winning your squad, quite a senior member of the team as well, coming back from his groin injury. Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting better, but uh, like I say, we have to assess a lot of things that we have to still work on it. Um, how have you kind of assessed your performances as of late? Obviously, a great victory in the last game against Aston Villa, but seven games undefeated so far. Um, but how have you assessed it kind of as you, I would say, realigned your season and kind of moving back forward in the Premier League? I think uh, it's been uh, tough, demanding, very demanding. Uh, we had a lot of competition, a lot of games, but I think we are managing well. Um, the performance is, is like all in live up and down, sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but um, always trying to improve and finding uh, the best, the best of, of each one of us. This is what we want for, for tomorrow, trying to, again, after the international break, raise our standards and perform well. Does the international break kind of dictate your mentality in terms of your selection? I know some of your players would have travelled far, such as Roy Jimenez, he would have gone all the way to Mexico's home nation. Yeah, so we had a lot of players board. involved um, in terms of our national teams. I think it was good, it was good because all of them were in important moments for, for their own countries, um, achieving qualifications for, for big events, playing, having minutes, some of some not so, like Pedro and Vinagre, they, they returned from the under-21 Portugal squads. Um, but it was, was good. At the same time, we stayed, we stayed here, we work, and now we receive them. We have a couple of days. Raul, like you say, uh, was the late one to, to join us. But again, we have to assess him because it's not a lot of time to train, and we'll decide for tomorrow. But uh, in terms of what it meant, international break, they came healthy. Um, this is the most important uh, aspect of it. I mean, your season started obviously a lot earlier than a lot of other people's. So you're 24 games in already. Yeah. Does that kind of dictate, do you want to manage the minutes of the players overall at all in terms of their fitness because they've had so many games? In we comparison have, we to, have to manage a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things. Uh, a lot of things, minutes of the players, uh, the opponent, the moment of the season. We have to assess a lot of things, but we, this is what we do from, from day one. Always trying to, to figure out the best decisions, finding solutions, knowing, understanding the, rec the timing, the, the, the recovery time of the players, working very hard as the, the staff, the players, to to always be able to perform well. And talking about your opponents, obviously you face Bournemouth uh, this weekend. S same amount of games, same points, um, only separated by a single goal between you two in terms of teams. What can you kind of expect from them? Very this good, weekend? a very good team, Eddie. A very good manager, very good players. It's going to be very, very tough tomorrow. Um, and we have to compete well. We have to compete well because Bournemouth is no doubt a, a very, very good team. Eddie Howe speaks very highly of yourself. Um, what have you kind of made of your opposition manager kind of going into this? Fantastic. Well, the work of Eddie is fantastic. Um, we met him last season. We had the time to, to chat. I admire, I respect him a lot. And all these years that been in Bournemouth, he's doing an amazing job. Um, Kind of, how do you look at it in terms of from an output? Because sorry, you, how do you look at it from an output? Because tactically, you've from a, from an output. So tactically, you've adapted. Why did I send what's what? Finished question. Tactically, you've changed throughout the season. So sometimes you play three at the back, sometimes you play four at the back. You've kind of no. been versatile with your within no, your team. No, no. How would you? How are you going to approach this weekend? Like we always do. We don't change. Don't change at all. We adapt. We we don't change. Mm. We try to, we know the opponent that we have, we know how good it is, but our approach is always the same. Trying to go for every, every detail that we can, trying to prepare well the game and give the info to the players, mm -hmm. but always relying on our way to, of, of doing things. And simple as that, we, we keep the same shape and we try to compete as best as we can. And on a wider issue, of course, Jose Mourinho has returned to football this week. Um, you obviously have good experience with Jose, obviously he coached you while he was Porto, you were with the Porto team. Kind of what can you expect from Jose's return to football as they're labelling it? I think uh, Mourinho speaks for himself now, he's a, he's a winner of all the titles, 
they achieve a fantastic, fantastic manager, someone that I respect and admire a lot. And uh, I'm happy that he's back in football. At the same time, I'm not so happy that Mauricio, fantastic manager, also left. But this is the life of, of, of ourselves as managers. We have to be prepared. We are in, we are out. But no doubt we are talking about two fantastic managers. My last one to you would just be, just give us an insight as to what it's like to be coached under the so-called special one. It was like, like many years ago and it was a fantastic, two fantastic seasons that, uh, that we had in Porto. We win everything that we had, we compete and uh, this uh, desire to win is one of the things that uh, I will always remember on Mourinho. He's, he's a born winner. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, sir. You know, this season we've seen a few Wolves players make international debuts. It's a healthy sign, isn't it, that players that you've brought here have, have improved and, and gone on to represent the national teams. It shows that the work that they're doing here is, is going well for them. Yes, of course. I think the, the final point going to a national team is a reflect of, uh, of how you work in your own club, in your club. So we are glad that uh, some of our players uh, went to national teams, had a chance to, to make the first appearances. And it's good. It's good because uh, for the player, for his for his motivation, for his confidence, uh, it's a tribute for the way he works on on a daily basis. It's unfortunate for Adama that with injury he didn't manage to join up with the Spanish camp. But he's one of the players who seems to have improved most. When you recruit, how important is it to you that there are players that are hungry to become better players? We recruit based on a lot of things. A lot of things, but. Uh, we don't recruit based on the young, uh, hungry, how hungry they are. We expect them to be hungry when they join us, because this is um, a massive club, and we want to. There's no space for not having this this ambition to improve uh, individually. At the same time, improve the team. He's been a very good example, though, hasn't he? In terms of how far he's come in 18 months working here, he's, he's changed enormously as a player. He's getting better. He's getting better, and he, he has a lot of, of space to improve him also. So. Nothing is finished. We have to keep on working. Not only Adamo, all the squad has a lot of room, a lot of room to improve. And so far, the margins are very tight in that you've, you've lost fewer games than almost anybody in the, the division. It's about turning draws into victories. Is that something now that you're, you, you've been working on the training ground, make the most of your chances? What, what we work on training out is, is, is to compete. To compete. Compete. Prepare yourself to compete. Prepare to play the game. This is what we work on the training camp.